I managed to do the impossible in Forza Horizon 3. Take a close look to the car that I'm using. This is a Toyota Hilux. It's one of the DLC cars. Uh, one of the last ones, if I'm correct. It's upgraded to S1 class because I was doing a cross-country uh, championship a couple minutes before I joined the Hot Wheels online adventure lobby. And the game didn't give me the chance to <laughs> choose a different car because somehow that was the car class uh, that was being uh, run in this lobby. But yeah, take a close look to this car because you're gonna see the impossible happen. Hello guys, welcome back onto the channel. I joined this lobby halfway through it, so I'm gonna I'm only gonna be doing the last two races uh, of this championship. But this is gonna be the first race of the video, just so you know. I'm gonna be competing against Mustangs, Lamborghinis, the Huracan, and the Murcielago. And take a close look at the car that I'm using. This guy tried to block me off or tried to push me off the track. I don't know what, what he was uh, going for uh, there, but it didn't work, so that's what matters to me. I don't know how, but my car is somehow faster than this car, this muscle car. Who? This car is supposed to be faster than this one. It isn't supposed to... Uh, lose on a straight line for me and somehow I'm still managing to catch up to this hurricane which is <laughs> I don't know if I laugh I don't know if I think the game is broken and I love this game by the way I played this game a lot but this wasn't supposed to be happening the Lamborghinis were supposed to be way way ahead of me, I'm using uh, some sort of pickup truck, and <laughs> it's somehow I'm in first place, and I'm actually pulling away from the Lamborghini. And I don't know if the guy behind me doesn't is not very good. I I don't know what it is, but this car is awful for the Hot Wheels expansion pack. It's too heavy. It doesn't have a lot of acceleration, and for the Hot Wheels top speed is the most important aspect, but when you're going up a loop, you need acceleration, especially so if you're coming out a corner. And this car doesn't have it, so if I hit uh, maybe a corner that is angled like this one, the car tends to drive itself to the bottom of it. And that's kind of scary because that makes it look like you're gonna be going over the wall and into the water <laughs> and this car is not is not suited for this track as you can see i hit the wall and that wasn't me i was trying to keep the car centered but somehow uh, the car kept pushing off to the to the bottom of the angle that, i think that the proper name is banked corner i don't know let me know in the comments down below because i really don't know how to properly uh, refer to this uh, sort of corners like this next one that is kind of tilted you know yeah i think the correct term is banked corner but yeah we're still in first place i don't know how or <laughs> why and i'm s i'm trying to understand what's going on why this car is so fast because i was running it in cross country and by the way i'm using an off-road tune setup on this car this is not an asphalt tune setup which makes it really which makes it even weirder <laughs> because i was running this car in a cross-country race and it wasn't it was nowhere near as quick as it is on the on this expansion but yeah i've managed to finish in first place with a three three minute and seven seconds uh, final time and I managed to finish with an almost 20 second gap between the first the second place which is amazing and <laughs> I, I don't know man I, I think I, I'm I'm gonna be confused throughout this event as I'm re-watching the footage moving on to the second race of the video and the last one of the championship i'm still competing against the same car so the guys uh, 
stayed in the lobby. There is a new one. Uh, no, I think that's the, the whole... No, the, that's a, a new guy, I think. Yeah. But yeah, I'm still competing against the Murcielago, the Mustang, and the Hurricane. And this one is not going to be as easy as the other one. And I just... My car couldn't couldn't stay on the track. It, I went way too quickly over there. And of course, I would go over uh, the barrier and into the wall. But that's fine. Uh, we're, we, we haven't lost a lot of positions because apparently there were more people who jumped into the water along with me. <laughs> and that wasn't on purpose. Again, my car just decided to slide up and into the barrier. Now, it's really tricky to control this car as it is in, in this sort of uh, track. And the rain doesn't help us. And so my car is going to be sliding out uh, way more than it should. And I think the guy in front of me is the one who's using the, the old Mustang, the, the muscle car that we managed to beat on a straight line somehow i'll never understand the logic behind it but yeah apparently this guy missed the checkpoint or went off the track i didn't really pay attention to what happened to him while i was racing but uh we're up in first place <laughs> i have no idea how this is happening and somehow the guy who's driving the hurricane is in third place still that was scary. I thought that uh, that I would, as soon as I made contact with the track again, I would be go flying out of it, and lose a couple positions. But thankfully, it didn't happen. So before this this jump, I braked just a little bit, so I just just so I didn't overshot that corner. And as you can see, I'm I'm struggling struggling a little bit to keep the car centered into the track. It's kind of difficult because of the, the track is wet and this car is too heavy. Uh, so we cross the line into the second lap, final one. I managed to break exactly as I should have braked in the first lap. And otherwise, I would have gone into the water again. But yeah. And. This car is not that quick. As you can see, I'm hitting uh, a little bit over 270 kilometers per hour. And I, and I have a Ferrari F12 Baroneta that I love to use in S1 class, especially so when it comes to uh, hot wheel tracks. And uh, that car can easily hit three, uh, 320 kilometers per hour. So I'm not using a really fast car. I don't understand. I, I would understand if I was winning... Uh, over corners because I, I, I'm pretty quick in Forza Horizon. I'm, I'm slow in most of other games, but in Forza Horizon, I'm pretty quick. But that would make sense that that I I, I was probably gaining on them over corners, but it doesn't make absolute no absolutely no sense. To be gaining over a Mustang on a straight line. <laughs> I think I'm going to be repeating that throughout the entire video. Because I don't understand how that happened. And again, another one of those carry jumps that makes me think that I'm going to screw up my race. But thankfully, that did not happen. And we're almost reaching the end of the race. We have a three second gap, so we're not uh, that far from the second place. Uh, quite the opposite, the second place uh, is managing to catch up to us uh, quite consistently. But it's not going to be enough because we're on the last stretch and the race is going to be over. And of course, we got uh, two, uh, two more seconds added into the gap between the second place so this is gonna be a first place finish again and i'll let you guys be the judge if you know what's going on if if by any chance this car is an op car and i don't know about 
I don't know, but that was really weird, and I think I did the impossible uh, in this track. So if you're looking for a quirky car to use in the Hot Wheels expansion pack, and you want to uh, get out of the sameness of using the same cars all the time, give this, this Hilux a go, and I think you won't regret it. <laughs> But anyways guys, I hope you had fun, I really had fun uh, recording this video, that was unexpected to me. And I hope you had fun watching, if you did like the video, hit the like button, subscribe to the channel for more Forza Horizon free content, share the video with your friends and on your social media, it helps me out a lot, and I really appreciate the help, and I hope to see you guys in the next one, bye.